What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over my five tips on how to slay a quick trip. Let's go. Alright, so recently I took a five day trip up to San Francisco. Since I took the bus from LA, it took me about eight hours to get there, eight hours to get back while riding this bus. So I don't really count the day I left and the day I returned as days. I only had three full days to make this trip happen. A quick trip for me is anything that's less than five days. For you, you can say five days is a really extensive vacation, but for me, it feels like I'm not really getting in there and getting set and being in the place I'm at. I like to feel like I'm a part of the location. And five days for me is just not enough time. But it's my first time going somewhere, I can make it work. I can get a little bit of this and a little bit of that to get an idea of what the city has to offer. So here are my tips to make sure I get the most bang out of my time for a quick trip. The first thing I suggest is figuring out what kind of traveler you are. Are you a busybody type personality? Are you a go with the flow kind of traveler? Or are you a straight up lazy bum kind of traveler? Just want to kick it at your friend's house or at a hotel and order room service kind of traveler. And honestly, you could be a mixture of all of the above. You could be super energetic in the beginning of a trip and then get tired towards the end and just kind of want to like ease back and let things come to you. You know, know yourself because it'll help your trip go the way that's best for your personality. Ask a local or ask a friend who's been to the city you're going to prior to you going to the city. So I had never been to San Francisco, so I asked my friend who I was visiting, yo, what do I have to hit up while I'm here? What will I like regret not doing while I'm here? It's San Francisco. I've got to see the Golden Gate Bridge. There's lots of cool architecture. I love food, so I looked up a couple restaurants that were in my price range that I had to hit up, and I did. I looked at different neighborhoods that the city was known for. A local could tell you discounted things, like when certain museums might be free, what times of day to go places, what neighborhoods to avoid, or little cool things that you may not find in a travel book. Like my one friend told me that the Wells Fargo Bank had these really cool sculptures of hearts made out of coins. So we went in there and we saw this sculpture made out of coins, the thing was bigger than me. Now had I not asked my friend, I would have never known about this thing, I would have missed out. So always ask a local or someone who has been to the city about their recommendations because you will find out something that you didn't know before and you'll have a better trip for it. Figure out what your must-haves are. Like, I have to go to this museum, or I have to go check out this historic landmark. I have to go to this restaurant. I have to ride on this trolley because I never rode on a trolley before. You know, a trolley costs seven dollars. San Fran, seven dollars. I have to see this show because this show's only gonna be in town for this many days, or this show's only gonna be in town for this many months, and then it's gonna leave and go back to the East Coast. Oh, I have to go on this hike because you know where I'm from. There's no mountains, so we don't get to hike. You're from Iowa. You don't have beaches. Go to the beach. Things like this. Figure out what your must-haves are. Figure out your community situation. San Francisco had a lot of trains, buses, ferries, lots of options for getting around this city. So I pretty much had like an easy go of it figuring out where I wanted to go. Google Maps is your best friend. They really are. If you're in the States. If you're in New York, pull up Google Maps. If you're in LA, Google Maps. San Fran, Google Maps, Chicago. Wherever you are, any big city, Google Maps is there to help you out. It literally lets you know when you're walking in the wrong direction. Put it on your phone, it saves lives. If you want to, you can always Uber. Like I got lost at one point during my trip, I ended up at the ferry. I wasn't properly lost, okay? I had just walked from like the market district down to like the water. It took me like an hour and I was tired. The sun had said it was cold. I was like, you know what? I'm not walking back. I'm just gonna take an Uber. Always be aware of how you're gonna be getting around the cities that you're visiting and you'll be good. Know your budget, 
make sure you have an idea of how much things are going to cost while you're in this city that you're visiting. San Francisco is quite pricey. I knew I didn't want to spend over a certain amount of money and I stuck to it. When you're, when you're on vacation and you're traveling, you want to really take in the experience. You want to feel like you're there and you have this idea that you're never going to go back, which may be the case, but you do need to go home and you do need to have some money when you get there. So always be aware of how much money you're spending and look for bargains everywhere you go because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity sometimes, but living, you're trying to do that for a lifetime. So stay within your means. And those are my five tips for planning a quick travel trip. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have a friend that's going on a trip soon, share the video. If you made this far in the video, thank you. Might as well go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming, especially if you want to see how my trip to San Francisco actually worked out. Peace.